What's going on guys? It's your boy RT again. I'm gonna start this video off by saying don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe if you like this video. But anyway, something I'm gonna talk about today includes talking to girls and social anxiety. Now a lot of guys have problems with this, some just don't want to admit it, but it's just a problem that goes on within our environment today. Okay, so first, most of my life, you know, I've been that kind of person that has just been playing video games all the time and I never really went out when I was I don't know I would say until about seventh or eighth grade and this was probably one of the worst choices ever because honestly it greatly affected my relationships and other shit like that but anyway when it came to talk to girls finally in like high school I guess you could say that people actually get interested in that kind of shit because I know we're in like fifth grade I could care less about that stuff I wasn't really thinking about it but high school came around and I was like oh shit you know I've been playing Xbox and all this other stuff and I've never really went out up until high school and I don't know my social skills were just lacking hardcore I didn't know what the hell to do and the thing is even today it just runs in like these three stages when it, when it comes to talking to girls to me. So, the first stage would be me feeling confident at first and... Alright, so it's like I see her and I feel confident. I feel like I can, you know, go up to her. Now, keep in mind, this isn't just me. There's a lot of people that have this fucking issue. I don't... I don't know if you watching this do, but it's a, it's a terrible, terrible thing. Alright, so first... I, I would feel confident, and then I would approach her. So step two, I would approach, right? And I'll never forget the day that I was with friends in Philadelphia, because, you know, I'm like 20 minutes away from there. And the whole entire purpose of going there was to try and practice this shit. And, you know, I turned out to be the only one that did approach anybody at all, because the other one of my friends was just didn't like want to do it i guess he was like really scared so i went ahead and approached and i'll never forget this it was so awkward i can't remember exactly what i said but the conversation lasted i would say approximately i don't know anywhere from two to five minutes like it was so bad i didn't know what to talk about and i don't know i just couldn't find any common interest at all because we went to different schools and shit like that and for some reason when I approach some random girl that I've never talked to before my mind just goes blank I don't know what it is but like before I approach or try to talk to some girl I've never talked to before I'll know what to say in my head but once I get there it's like damn like I just don't know what to say I I have no idea so that would be the, like the third stage would be trying to talk and I don't know what the fuck to talk about, I don't know what we have in common, and it just went all downhill from there. And it got to the point where I would just kind of let the conversation bomb and just walk away. Like that girl in Philadelphia I was just talking about, the conversation got so fucked after like three minutes, five minutes, I just kind of walked away because it was so, like, stupid. But, that was that, pretty much. And conversation like with girls for whatever reason like you know a human interaction with a conversation is supposed to be 50% you 50% the other person you know so it's equally sharing the conversation saying what you want to say maybe asking some questions but then again you don't want to go into interview mode okay so it's supposed to be 50 50 but to me what it seems like is that the girl does 10% of the conversation and you're expected to do 90% which I believe is total bullshit okay you should be doing 50 50 I don't understand why girls just fucking sit there and they expect you to I'm not saying all girls a lot of the ones that I've tried talking to though you know like they try to put out 10% of the conversation they expect you to pretty much do all the fucking talking it's just complete bullshit because you know they'll sit there and give you one word answers but it's like how the hell am I supposed to hold a conversation if you're giving me one word answers you know what I'm saying and I know a lot of you people out there that are watching this right now, once again, not every girl, I'm not trying to be biased or sexist here, but every one of you watching right now have been in a situation like this, regardless of your age, you know, even if you're just talking to a regular friend, maybe they'll just be putting in 10% of the talking and you put in the other 90%, which is 
fucking awful because how the hell are you gonna make a conversation? I go ahead and ask a question or say something and she goes, yeah, I agree, or yeah, or true. Like, don't give me that one word answer shit, all right? So, another thing is, like, I was having terrible, terrible, like, trouble with this. So, you know, I went and go ahead and I watched videos and read about this shit and I found out that, you know, I'm obviously not the only person having this issue. So, the other thing that I also realize is that you can't just read this shit and then have it automatically come to you. You actually have to go out and practice. You can't just fucking put some note under your pillow to magically know what to say and all that shit. But the bottom line of this, guys, is that anyone else who's having trouble with this, you have to go out and actually attempt and practice. There's no formula that you're going to automatically get every single girl in the world. You just have to go out and practice. Anyway, it's been real. Chaboy RZ is out.